Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up Klarna by Stripe on your Shopify store. This is really powerful and it's all about adding Klarna as a payment method right inside of Shopify. And I'm going to show you the exact right way to do this so everything is built in seamlessly. And the reason that you want Klarna in your store is because it's super popular. It's super trustworthy, people love using Klarna, and when they see it as a payment method in your Shopify store, it's gonna increase your conversion rate. And buy now, pay later, which is what Klarna does, it's incredibly valuable to e-commerce stores. It really unlocks a whole extra tier of customers that might not be able to afford your payment upfront. They're able to break it out into payments. You still get paid uh, in full from Klarna, so you love when customers use Klarna because you make just as much money. Customers love Klarna because they could buy products that they typically wouldn't be able to afford. It's a win-win. And a popular strategy for Shopify stores is to use the Klarna Installments app to seamlessly and easily integrate Klarna into your Shopify checkout. And we're going to go over the shoulder later in this video. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do that. And if you want to install Klarna in Shopify, you might run into some pain points. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app I'm going to show you the Klarna installments app so you get this built in the right way. And really, most importantly, the app must be super easy to use and require no prior technological skill, no need to look at code, no need to hire a developer or a programmer or some you know, expert in app building. You'll be able to get this all set up yourself. The only requirement to open a Klarna account is to have an active Stripe account. Really easy to have. You probably already have one. And uh, now we're going to go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you Klarna installments. I highly recommend it. The easiest and best way to get Klarna installed in your Shopify store. And again, you see the link directly below this video. Highly recommended. You see the App Store page over here, Klarna installments. And we'll go over the shoulder. You'll see exactly how this works. And we'll go step by step configuring everything to make sure that we have Klarna installed in our store. And uh, it just becomes another payment gateway that's built in with Shopify. So they'll be able to see it right in the checkout, you know, the actual typical built-in Shopify checkout. There's no hacks or add-ons or, you know, different pages. This is all built into Shopify now when you use Klarna installments. So we'll see over here, we have Klarna Pay Now, Pay Later, of course, the payment plans and all that great stuff, why everyone uses Klarna to do the Buy Now, Pay Later. So that'll be installed into your store. We're gonna go over the shoulder now. All you need to do is press the install button over here. We'll press install. This is going to bring us into our Shopify store where we will begin the installation process for Klarna. So we'll come over here. I'm going to press install. This is going to bring us back into our Shopify store where we're simply going to grant access for Klarna installments to be installed in our store. So once we do this, we're now going to be brought over into the setup page. And we'll come over here and, of course, click Klarna payment intent. This is going to allow us to create this connection into our store. Free to install, free to test. See that there is a transaction fee on here for Klarna. And we'll add that into our business here when we click configure. Now we're going to be able to go and set up our Klarna integration. You'll see here that there are a bunch of different options. Live mode, test mode, and custom config. We could leave custom config alone. What we want to set up over here is our live and test publishable key and secret key. And I'm gonna show you how to get those. You're gonna to need to go into your Stripe account. So if you don't already have a Stripe account, all you need to do is go to stripe.com, come over here, click start now, and you'll be able to create your free Stripe account. Highly recommended if you don't already have one. Once you're logged into your Stripe account, we can come over here into our settings. What we need to do is come to settings, and then go into payments because we need to turn Klarna on. So we're coming over here, settings, payments, and then payment methods. We'll come over here and set up your default payment methods. And we're gonna scroll down until we see Klarna right over here. And we're gonna click turn on. Okay, so what we're doing is activating Klarna here in our Stripe account. So this is the first step to getting this set up. And you see we now have Klarna activated, buy now, pay later. So the next thing that we have to set up is going to be down here in developers. So we'll come over here and click developers over here. And don't worry, we're not doing anything overly technical. All we need to do is come over here into the API keys. You see API keys appear. We'll click on that. 
This brings us into our API section. You might have some keys that you might have set up for other integrations, or if you had a previous Stripe account, you might have keys for some other reason. What we're gonna be doing is creating a new key. But there's a couple things to think about first. Remember, inside of the app, we have two different options here, live mode and test mode. And we're gonna to wanna to set up both of these as we configure. You know, of course, we have test mode to test everything, make sure that it's good. We have live mode, which would be, you know, the real live uh, payment processing. And we'll need to set up both separately over here inside of our Stripe account. And you see that we have test mode up here. This is gonna basically allow us to turn on test mode. For example, if we have it on, you see that this is using test data, no transactions are gonna be processed. If we turn it off, that goes away. So what we're gonna do is grab our publishable key and our secret key for our live mode. And we're gonna do the same thing, grab our publishable key and our secret key for our test mode. And we're gonna simply enter them in into the app. So I've entered them in over here. I've uh, blurred this out because these are my uh, keys over here, but all you need to do is click config webhook and it's gonna give a little test over here and say that webhook has been configured and we'll do the same for test mode. Come over here and press config webhook. It's gonna make sure everything is working good. Both are now set up and we can press activate. Next, we're brought back into Shopify. Basically what we're gonna have over here is our payment section. This is now Klarna inside of your Shopify store as a new payment method. You see that it's on over here. We could also turn test, mo test mode on over here to activate and basically simulate and test everything that we've set up. So here's our test mode on, test mode off. This is basically adding Klarna here into our Shopify store. We're gonna go ahead and press activate. Okay, Klarna is now active in our Shopify store. So let me show you this live in one of my stores. So I went through the process. You saw step-by-step. Step. I set up Klarna. I'm over here in my Shopify store now. We added a couple products into my cart, and we're gonna go into checkout. And the best part about this is you're gonna see Klarna just like any other payment method, right? We have our typical Shopify checkout, entering in information, picking shop uh, shipping, and now we see we have credit card, we have shop pay, and now what we've just added, Klarna flexible payments. See the Klarna logo, all integrated directly in here. You just simply press uh, pay now. It's all built in into our Shopify checkout here, just like any other option. This isn't some type of hack or you know script or anything like that, fully built in to how Shopify checkout wants everything to be done, just like in any other payment method. So really, really powerful here. We now have Klarna flexible payments, the buy now, pay later feature in our Shopify store. So that was Klarna installments, as you see, really easy to use. And uh, just like that, you'll have Klarna as a Shopify payment method right inside the checkout. Highly recommend it again. Just click the link directly below this video. Follow the step-by-step -step and get Klarna installed in your store. You're going to see more customers, increased conversion rate, and like I said, that other tier of customers that might not typically be able to afford your product can now be paying you right away with Klarna. Really powerful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer each one individually. Otherwise, I hope this helps you make a lot of money, and I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks.